Caddis Maximus here. So this is the issue we're fixing, and it happens with all these cheap 4K players because they spin the disc at up to 5,000 RPM in order to achieve the data rates to transmit that 4K signal. That's the sound. And really, it's just short side this. These 4K players, are re for their price, are made especially cheaply uh, so they can justify even making them at all. The root cause really is the disc. It's these, this really heavy ink printing is not perfectly centered on the disc, and there's actually a significant amount of weight. And when it spins at 5,000 RPM, it starts to develop a resonance, which then on the very thin plastic drive mechanism vibrates. So we're going to show how you can use weather stripping to deal with that issue but the root cause is the disc here we have another triple layer disc pretty heavy printing but it just ended up being perfectly centered you can just barely hear it so we have this this is the lg up970 but even Blu-ray uh, 4K players are even have a bit better quality. This is a Samsung uh, Can KM85C. This is actually better built with fans and stuff, and is certainly heavier. But it's a couple years older. The LG just has a newer CPU that doesn't need as much cooling. Simple as that, and it actually operates faster. But anyway, it's going to be the same deal. Sometimes there's very there's not very much space, but this Samsung still vibrates. The same way as this the only thing is you don't want to have too much pressure now on this unit what i have found is that you have it isn't oh come on pressing on the top isn't going to actually fix it we need to put a little tension on the bottom but we just have to be careful not to deform the uh drive casing so even if i'm pressing here or here it's not it's because the spindle motor and everything's mounted to the bottom so sometimes you can get rid of the noise but nothing I do changes it on this top side so we're gonna have to get this drive up super easy to do the way they have these assembled is you can see here there's these little tabs and so you just grab and just gently rock back and forth and work the plug out and when you put it back in it's just the same deal make sure you get it nice and square and the slowly rock it back and forth until it goes all the way in those cables are super thin and delicate so you definitely want to unplug them they're going to be four screws two on each side got those out in case of anybody's wondering lg isn't manufacturing the actual drive mechanism we can see that's indeed a sony get it in the position and to see if you know if you have to press you just want to make sure you're not pressing so hard that you're de really deforming the plastic. So if you really have to press it down in order to get it to seat, then maybe make this stuff a little bit thinner. Shave it or cut it, cut it down a little bit. I decided to go for a cruciform pattern because then it places the blocks more in the center of the long sides or on the center of the sides. With The sides are going to be more rigid in the corners but there's gonna be more vibration in the more open area. And here's the moment of truth. Don't be like I did and plug it all in, wonder why it doesn't work when you forgot to actually plug those cables back in. Here we are with our mortal engines, which is our one of my worst of all my 4K discs, which is a shame because this is what's known, has what's known as a 4K intermediate. It's one of the highest quality uh, 4K. There's still vibration. The disc is still out of balance. We just don't have that darn resonance in the plastic bottom of this drive. And the fix is as easy as that. Still is a noisy disc, but nowhere near as bad as what, is it, what it was before. And this is only an issue when it first load discs and right at the beginning of the movie because uh, 4K discs have to, because of that speed, um, it's only on the inside where the tracks are really short, so it just has to spin it super fast to get enough data, the 
good enough consistent data right as soon as it starts moving out on the disk your linear velocity increases and so the disk doesn't have to move as quickly just need to edit this in here so after spending a bunch of time fiddling with all these little pads uh, the noise did come back and so where I had placed the pads wasn't really the source and after I pulled out all the pads and started with just one and was fiddling around with my finger until I found right under the motor for the tray there so that and then just a little bit of pressure on top of the center section here so the root of all the noise was actually just one point up here and once again this is really an issue that is only encountered with 4k ultra high definition players because of the fact that the drives can spin up to 5000 rpm in order to get the start transferring the massive amount of data that's on one of these discs uh, when it's on the inner tracks blue standard blu-rays and cds and dvds just don't spin fast enough people who are part of the older computer era and were familiar with the cd and dvd rom burning speed there were drives that were like 100x and they would spin that cd <laughs> to near the point that it would explode and so many of those just had terrible tremendous amounts of vibration shaking your whole computer because the rpms on the disc thanks for watching maybe give me some support through the youtube super thanks donations